Okay, so derivatives. So how do we get this derivatives class? Now, if you can recall, okay, in our previous topics before the limits, we have talked about slopes. Okay, and we have learned that slope is the dy over dx or when when you get the derivative of a given function with respect to x, it is equivalent to its slope. So therefore class, pag kinuha natin yung slope, that's already the derivative of that given function. So it's all about the slope. Now if you could recall, paano na natin masolve yung slope? Slope is simply the change in your y all over change in x or rise over run. Okay? So slope, as you can see here in a given graph, in a given, given line here, so para makuha yung, yung change in your y, so syempre you have to, to sub, uh, subtract the, the y from that point to that next point. Okay? The same with your change in i from anong point siya papunta doon. So, yan lang. Simply ganyan lang yung ano natin. Simple as that. They just determine kung ano yung pinagbago kay y and also ano yung pinagbago ni x. And you'll be able to get the slope of that function. But then class, what if? What if yung tinatanong sa'yo is to find the slope at a given point? Hindi sa given function. O katulad niyan, sa, sa picture na nakikita niyo, di ba, line, given na uh, line siya. O, so, madali lang siya, di ba? Madali lang nahanapin yung, yung slope kasi didetermine mo lang eh kung ano yung pinagbago sa change in y, tsaka yung change in x. E paano pag point? Kasi class, pag point siya class, may hirapan tayo. Kasi kung point, katulad na to, Ayan, o ano nakikita nyo? Yung point is napakaliit. Paano natin makukuha yung change in y and change of x? Kasi point siya eh. Unlike dito sa, ano, unlike dito sa, sa line na napakalapad. Kaya madali natin masolve yung, yung change in y and change of x. E dito sa point, zero. Zero na yung ano natin. Wala ka may measure, wala ka may measure na change either in y and either in x. So, yung slope mo is 0 over 0. Di ba? Indeterminate yun. Oo. E paano yun? Paano natin masasolve yung slope? So, that's why class, meron tayong derivatives. Okay? I-apply natin siya ng derivatives. Yung sa derivatives kasi class, we are using small difference. Di ba sabi natin, the slope should be the change in your y and change in your x. So, you have to subtract or you get the difference between your initial y from your final y. The same with your x. What is your initial x and your final x? So, you have to get the difference of that. So, dito sa derivatives class, instead na yung actual na, na final y and final x, a uh, final initial y and initial, a uh, final y and final x, yung, ano ba? Again, instead na yung ginagamit natin is yung actual na point kung saan initial y tsaka final y as well as initial x tsaka final x. So dito, we are using small only. In, your, in, in our case, kung nakikita nyo class, ayan o, oh, kung nakikita nyo yung itong bilog, zinum natin yung, yung, yung dot kumuha lang tayo ng a very small difference or increment doon sa point na yun. Kasi point na nga siya eh. Diba? Unlike doon kanina sa line na napakalapad, like I have mentioned, eh dito, napakaliit talaga niya. Kung observe nyo, this small difference is symbolized as delta y and delta x. And take note plus, this small difference here shrink towards zero Bakit, bakit papunta sila sa zero? They approach a zero class kasi napakaliit nila. So imagine, di ba, yung tuldok. O, tuldok. Just a point. I-zoom mo yan. O, gamitan mo ng microscope or whatsoever there na magnifying glass. Kung papalakihin mo yan, 
di ba? Napakaliit lang talaga ng difference within your y and within your x. And that is our delta y and delta x. So, yan plus yung ginagawa natin when it comes to the slope or when getting the slope of a point or at a point. Okay? So, para mas maintindihan natin the plus, let us have an example. Okay, let us have an example. Let's say na meron tayong given na function y equals f of x. Again, yung given na function is equal to, uh, is y is equal to f of x. Now, ano nga ulit? Para ma-solve yung derivative, kunin mo lang yung slope. So, just find the change in y and change of x or simply delta y over delta x. Okay? So, let's say ito yung ano natin, ito yung function natin. Ayan. So, ayan na yung delta y tsaka delta x. So, kung ma-observe nyo plus, ito siya. Ito yung delta y. Yung delta y mo is right here. This one. Ito siya. Ganyan, o. Oh. Ito. Ito kasi siya. Ito yung delta y mo. Ayan, ito yung nagbago kay y mo. So, etong part na to, ito yung parang pinaka-final y mo. Ito siya. F x plus delta x. Tapos, eto initial y mo, eto siya, f of x. Hmm. Bakit, kung observe nyo, no? Given is y equals f of x. Ah, ba? Diba? Ngayon, et, eto kasi yan eh, eto yung y equals f of x natin, eto. E ngayon, andito na siya, nagbago. So, na, na ano siya, parang, um, nag-move. So, para makuha yung delta y, eto yan siya. Nadagdagan kasi siya ng delta x. Kung observe nyo, oh, yung x natin, nag pumunta siya dito, so therefore, nadagdagan siya ng delta x. So therefore, yung x mo kanina, eto, nadagdagan siya ng delta x. Kaya, instead of f of x na siya, ngayon, naging f x plus delta x na lang. Nakukuha nyo ba, class? Oh, so, ito yung initial y mo, tapos ito yung final y mo, final, tapos ito yung initial. So, para makuha natin yung delta y, so, subtract mo lang final, final y minus initial y. So, subtract mo lang to, eto minus f of x. Nakuha yung class. Oh, so, using, using our formula of slope, delta y over delta x, eto yung magiging slope natin. So, therefore, ano uh, na siya? Ayan. Yan na yung magiging equation natin. So, f function of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x. Okay? Ganyan lang. Yan yung magiging working equation natin. So, ano na ngayon gagawin? Once na, once na masubstitute na natin yan, we will simplify the equation and that will serve as your derivative of the given function. Once na makuha mo yung slope, yan yung derivative. Okay? Again, ano yung ano lang yung gagawin natin? Simply, eto yung formula. Ipa-follow mo lang talaga tong formula na to class. Eto. The derivative is equal to delta y over delta x or simply eto. Kung given ka ng f of x, mag-add ka lang ng delta x. Tsaka magiging ganito siya. Tapos, i-substitute mo lang dito. Okay? O. Let us have an example para mas makita ninyo. Ito. Yung f of x dito is equals to x squared. Okay? O, sige, testing natin ha. Kung makukuha ba natin. Ay, I'm sorry, ba't nawala? Wait lang. Testing natin kung, kung makuha ba natin. Sulat muna natin, f of x is equal to, okay, so f of x is equal to x squared. So, ano yung gagawin natin? We are to get the derivative. Okay, so sabi natin derivative is simply the slope. So, using the formula delta y over delta x, okay, so simply the formula is f x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x. Okay. Now, 
yung given natin dito is etong f of x. Okay? f of x is x squared. Now, ano yung ating magiging f plus delta x? Kung ganyan, ha? take note plus, sa, sa position ni x, yun yung ilalagay natin as x natin. So, in this case, ano ba yung x natin? Eto. So, if follow mo lang to, yung format na ito, yung x squared. So, instead of x, gagawin mo siya x plus delta x and then squared. So, eto class na quantity, eto yung pumalit kay x. Na-follow nyo ba? Yun lang, yun, yun lang yung gagawin natin class. Oo. So, after that, eto na yung isa-substitute natin dito sa given equation. Pero let us first simplify this. So, x plus delta x quantity squared. So, magiging x squared siya plus 2 times x delta x plus delta x squared. Marunong ba kayo mag-expand mag, mag ng binomial? So, review kayo sa, ano, review kayo sa, sa algebra ninyo ha? Kung paano mag-expand nito. Or kung hindi talaga kayo marunong, you can, you can... Uh, multiply it individually ganito so isa-isahin ninyo ganyan, ganyan tapos eto saka eto, okay? eto yung magiging result nya so eto plus yung equivalent ng ating eto so substitute na tayo ha so the value is x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared all over your delta x minus take note, ito pa lang yung ano natin, ito minus may f of x pa okay, ano ba yung f of x natin, x squared okay, so papalitan natin ng x squared so, x squared okay, so meron ba tayong masisimplify class, yes meron ito o oh x squared minus x squared. Right? Okay. So, ano mayayari sa equation natin? So, 2x delta x plus delta x squared all over your delta x. O. Oh. Paano ba natin masisimplify yan? We can factor out delta x, right? Delta x. Factoring out. Ano mga titira dito? 2x. How about here? we will be left with delta x all over delta x. Ayan. So, what will happen here? Maka-cancel yung delta x natin. Ayan. And what will be left is 2x plus delta x. Now, eto plus yung ating derivative. Now, ano yung gagawin natin dito sa 2x plus delta x na to? Kasi class... Yung ano natin na to, yung delta x, sabi natin, it should be, o it should approach zero. Na ano nyo, natatandaan nyo, kanina sabi natin, na this delta x or this small difference should shrink into zero or dapat maging zero siya. Paliitin ng paliitin mo siya. Kasi napakaliit talaga nyo, di ba? Kasi point, point kasi yung hinahanap natin, slope at that point. So, if you want to, to, to determine the slope at that point, so you have to, to, to lessen or paliitin mo yung difference or the change, small difference in that. So, we are to approach delta x to 0. And in this case, when we substitute that, it will become 2x. So, ano ibig sabihin ng 2x na to? Etong 2x, eto na yung derivative na given na f of x natin, which is x squared. So, in this case, the derivative of f of x equals x squared, or simply, the derivative of x squared is 2x. And that's the answer already, class. Now, buha nyo. So, ano yung ginawa natin? Yung ginawa lang natin is, sinabstitute lang natin yung delta y over delta x. Sinanap lang natin yung f of x natin, tapos, eto, ginanito lang siya, tapos substitute and then simplify, ganun lang. Tapos after that, i-approach na ngayon yung delta x to 0. Yan yung pinaka-final natin step. You have to approach delta x to 
zero. Okay? Excuse me. Nakuha niyo class? Yan talaga yung as in yung, yung long method kung paano mag-evaluate um, ng derivative ng isang function. Now, dito sa derivative class, we will be using we will be using um, symbols. Okay? Symbols like this one. Dx. So, instead of using the delta x, dx yung gagawin natin. Okay? So, delta x. Change in x. So, dx yung gagawin. Gagamitin. And, therefore, yung d over dx will mean the derivative of Okay, yung d over dx is somewhat an operator class. So, kung makakita ka ng d over dx, it only means na dapat kunin mo yung derivative niya. Okay? And also class, um, the other way on how to write the derivative is by using the f prime or f apostrophe function of x. Ayan, no? Okay? So, kung makakita kayo niyan, it means derivative. Okay? Now, let us have another example para maiba naman. Ayan. So, in this case, x cubed. O, ginamit na natin yung symbol natin, ha? d over dx, x cubed. O, sige. So, try naman natin siyang isolve. Eto siya. Okay. So, eto, we have d over dx, x cubed. So, what or how do we read this? We can read this as the derivative of x squared. Nakuha niyo, derivative of x squared. Now, ano nga yung first step? So, the first step is to determine your f of x. Ano ba yung f of x mo dito? Your f of x is the x cubed. So, how about your f x plus delta x? So, gagawin mo lang, papalitan mo lang yung x ng x plus delta x. Yun lang yun plus. So, x plus delta x. Okay, ganyan lang. Lahat ng x, papalitan mo ng x plus delta x. Okay, so expand natin to plus. By the way, um, this is also equal to x plus delta x times x plus delta x quantity squared. Kanina, we have expanded already your eto which is x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared. Ayan. Ayan. So, eto, mag-distribute ulit tayo. So, this times this will become x cubed. Tapos, eto naman is plus 2x squared delta x plus eto naman 2 Delta x squared plus, ito naman, delta x, x squared plus, ito, 2x delta x squared plus, delta x magiging cube siya. Na-follow? Let's check na natin ulit. x, x cube. Okay. And then, 2x squared delta x and then x um, x times ano uh, na to? x times delta x squared so dapat x plus to plus, I'm sorry this should be x ayan, and then this one delta x, x squared plus ito naman 2x delta x squared plus okay so ano yung pwede makancel dito x cubed, wala. So, copy yung x cubed. How about this one? Para may nakita ako kanina nito. 2x squared. Ah, wala. Okay, I'm sorry. Eto, eto. Um, wala din. Yung may delta x cubed. Okay. Eto, eto, eto. x eto. x plus 2x. So, that is plus 3x delta x squared. Ayan. Ano pa? Ito. Ito, tsaka ito. Pwede siya makombine. So, magiging 3x squared delta x. 
and then plus delta x cube. Okay? Yan yung magiging result ng ating equation.